everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down with you guys and do another dating story time. So compared to my other dating story times, this one is probably one of the more most recent. Um, it happened about a year ago and I figured now is a good time for me to kind of talk about it. Let's just get into details. So as the title says for this video, I got ghosted. Now for those of you guys who don't know what getting ghosted means, that's basically where you're talking to someone and then all of a sudden they disappear. They're gone like a ghost. So over a year ago, I want to say it was maybe in September, it was like August or September, something like that, of 2017, I met a guy online and we just kind of really hit it off. I mean, everything was just clicking perfectly. He was a super nice guy. I really liked a lot of things about him. Um, we had a lot of like shared interests, um, but we also had things that, you know, were a little bit different, but things were just going really well. So we started off chatting on the dating app and then we moved to, I believe it was Facebook and then also like texting as well. Um, so we did that for a little while and then we started talking on the phone, um, having actual conversations. So everything was going good and we were having great conversations and stuff, we were talking on the phone, but then some things started to just kind of, I don't know, it was like a red flag for me. Um, the major one for me was he would never call me, it was always me calling him, which I kind of thought was kind of weird, um, especially now like looking back on it. At the time, I mean, I did think it was strange, but I just kind of brushed it off. So, I don't know, um, probably like if it happened to me again though and someone like doesn't call me then I'd probably kind of write them off now, but then I was just, you know, I was thinking that things were going really good and I was just into it. So fast forward to the month of October, we decided that we would finally get together and go out on a date together. Um, we picked a place that was mutually like easy for both of us to find and everything because I think we lived about maybe an hour apart or so. Um, so I picked a spot that was like at a steakhouse, you know, nothing too crazy, you know, it's just like a little local steakhouse and we figured we'd meet up there for dinner. So on the day of our date, I went to the place that we were going to and I got there first. I was waiting for him and he finally showed up. Um, he was on time. I think he was like right on time, maybe just a few minutes early. Um, everything was, you know, he looked just like he did in his pictures. Obviously, I look like how I look in my pictures. Um, prior to this, though, uh, we were talking about like videos and stuff like that, and I told him that I had a YouTube channel, and I gave him my YouTube channel, and he subscribed to my YouTube channel. So, so he already knew about like this. He already knew like me, what I look like, sound like, you know, all that stuff. So, um, for me, it was just you know really seeing him for the first time. So. We go in, we get seated down, and at the very beginning, you know, things were kind of awkward. I mean, you guys, you know how first date goes. You know, you're nervous. But um, by like 20 minutes in, I mean, we were having a good old time laughing, joking. Everything was just fantastic. And um, part of me was just kind of like pinching myself because I'd never really had like a first date kind of go that well. Um, you know, things were just going so easy you know, it was easy to talk and to chat and, you know, a lot of our shared interests, you know, it was just, it was just one of those really good dates. So I think we were there for like an hour and a half or two hours or something. I mean, it was really good. Um, he was very nice. He picked up the dinner tab, which I thought was very sweet. You know, I offered to pay, of course, but he picked that up. That was so kind of him. Um, yeah, he was just really great. So after dinner was done, we walked out and, you know, everything was still going great. We hugged and we were like, you know, I really had fun. Did you? And he goes, yeah, I really had fun too. Love to do this again, get to know each other more. He agreed, I agreed. We thought that was awesome. We got in our cars and we went our separate ways. So after our date, you know, we were still texting and talking, everything was going good. And we were talking about maybe doing some more plans in that time, I had a disaster happen. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I had a tree that fell on my house last year at the end of October. We had a really bad windstorm and a tree fell on my house and it did so much damage that 
it was gonna cost more to fix the house than you know than just going out and getting a new place so that's when I had to start getting ready to move and stuff so you know obviously I had a little bit more stress on me but I was still talking to him still kept in touch and everything let him know what was going on and what have you like I said we were still texting and talking and I was telling him what was going on and stuff and then one day I think I texted him and then there was like nothing. I never heard from him again. He completely just full out ghosted me. And the funny thing is, is like, he was still my friend on Facebook. Um, he was still subscribed to my YouTube channel, which he still might be, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it was just out of the blue, just all of a sudden nothing. He just didn't respond and that was it. So I kind of thought, you know, that maybe something was wrong. So I kind of waited a few days and then I sent one final text and then nothing, you know, that was it. I'm not the type like I'm not going to be clingy and I'm not going to, you know, hound someone. You know, obviously if you go, you know, over a week or something without responding to a text or anything, then, you know, I get the gist that you're not into it. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think... I think I kept him as a Facebook friend for like a month after that and then I deleted him. I'm like, why keep him on there? Um, there was just, there was nothing. And to me it just, to me it really sucked because I think that's something that's really shady to do. Um, I like people who are just forward and blunt and you know, if you're not into me or you're not feeling it, then just say, hey, I'm just not feeling this. You know, you're free to go do your thing and I'll go do mine. But I don't like being let on and, you know, I don't know, I just, I just don't appreciate that. I just, I value honesty and to me that's just so dishonest and so disgusting that, you know, if he ever had come back around, no. You know, to me, I just, I don't play those games. I myself, I'd rather be single than have to deal with crap like that. So it is kind of sad to say, but that was the last date that I did go on. So it's been over a year that I have been, you know, just nothing. And it sucks. You know, I think I'm going to do another video um, coming up talking about dating and stuff. Um, because I could elaborate on more to this. But I think it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth for now. And I just haven't... I have not found somebody yet that I just click with and you know it sucks but I'm not gonna waste my time on people who just they don't deserve my time so yeah alright guys so that is it for my story time I got ghosted in the comments down below let me know have you guys ever had an experience where you got ghosted or anything similar to like the story that I just told you let me know in the comments down below I would love to read your stories all right, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to hit the notification bell down below. That way you're notified when I do an upload. All right, guys, until my next video, I will talk to you later. Bye.